I'm John Hudson, the founder of Hudson's Property here in London's West End, and I'm here to do two things. Quickly run through quarter one and the numbers for both sales and residential lettings. And secondly, is to tell you about the trends and what we can expect in the next quarter. So let's crack on. In residential sales, there was a huge 110% increase in valuations in the last two months alone compared to 2020. Properties available for sale were up 58% year on year. 65% of people bought in the sub £1 million bracket as stamp duty relief really played its part. 35% of buyers were residents, 30% were buy-to-let investors, the highest increase we've had in recent years, 20% bought as a pied de terre and 15% bought for their children. Lucky kids. In residential lettings, properties available to rent were up by 40%, of which 30% of those properties were previously used to short let. Rental prices were up to 20% cheaper than the same period last year, encouraging tenants from Zone 2 and 3 to live more centrally. Professional tenants outweighed others by 3 to 1, with a majority being from Britain, with some Europeans, but fewer from further afield due to the travel restrictions. In the last three months, we saw double the amount of deals agreed compared to Q1 2020. The trends from quarter one, without a doubt, in sales and lettings are deals being agreed from virtual viewings online, which is a significant 21st century shift as we agreed a record number of virtual deals. So what can we look forward to the next quarter? Without any doubt, as I mentioned it earlier, as I alluded to earlier, spring is here. It's a very, very busy time for property and we're all very, very excited. And obviously the lockdown's ending and people are going to get returned to their offices. And I think it's going to really make the West End great again. And gradually as each, each part of the lockdown ends and more and more freedom, I can really see a great return for London property.